Judge Stephanie Boyd is a Texas 187th District Court judge. Her tenure began in 2019 and it will end in 2026. Judge Boyd received her JD from St. Mary's University in 1997 and her practice is uh, specializing in criminal law. On July the 6th, 2023, defendant Wilbur Villamil stood before Judge Boyd to enter a no contest plea for SEX crimes against children. The plea was for 15 years in prison. Judge Boyd refused to accept the plea. She felt the crimes were horrendous and she wanted the defense and the prosecution to come together to come up with something different. The hearing was held on Zoom and Zoom watchers on YouTube were able to see this hearing and they were writing things in the comments such as you're sick, you're disgusting, you deserve more time and other insults. Now, Mr. Vellamil's defense team complained that YouTube commenters made disparaging comments about them and their client. They weren't really happy about that. A formal complaint against Judge Boyd stated that she violated several canons of the Texas Code of Conduct with her statements during the live stream. A decision was made and Judge Boyd was recused from the case. The case was transferred to the 227th District Court on August the 4th, 2023. On August the 24th, 2023, Mr. Villamil entered a no contest plea and was sentenced to 15 years. I guess tantrums really do work. I digress. Now, um, this video um, I'm going to insert here for you to see. I must tell you a severe trigger warning. So if you are sensitive to uh, crimes against children, you might want to skip ahead to the end of the video, to the end of the hearing, to hear my the rest of my commentary. And once again, trigger warning, severe trigger warning. This case is horrible. And I mean, I know he says he's pleading to a one-time uh, penetration, but from reading this. He didn't say that. I said it because okay. I was just talking about the legal issues yeah. with that. So. But I mean, having a child lick his, well, having her brother lick his butt. Uh, that, that was something that I think was determined that that did not happen. Well, she says that he asked her to lick his butt. That's, I, that's a different one. Yeah. What is wrong with you? Uh, the court will find there's sufficient evidence to find you guilty. Court will find you guilty. Is there a reason I should accept this agreement? Why am I accepting this agreement? Well, Your Honor, the um, in this situation, um, what what he has pled to is is a single count of a single time of sexual assault of a child, which is aggravated sexual assault of a child. Uh, he has agreed to do this um, early on in his process. He is not uh, he is not contesting 
um, his guilt and he is not contesting what's going on. He's agreed to go to prison and 15 years is a substantial amount of time. State, why should I accept Your this Honor, argument? Your Honor, the, the child is, is very young. She's in, she's in therapy right now. This was, I, I discussed it with the mother um, and this is, um, there is a, a desire to get closure early on in this case, Your Honor. So, at this point, we haven't had to um, uh, re-traumatize the child by bringing her in and talking to her about the space yet. This case is horrible. And I mean, I know he says he's pleading to a one-time uh, penetration, but from reading he this. He didn't say that. I said it because okay. I was just talking about the legal issues yeah. with that. So. But I mean, having a child lick his, well, having her brother lick his butt. Uh, that, that was something that I think was determined that that did not happen. Well, she says that he asked her to lick his butt. That's. I, that's a different one. Yes. What is wrong with you? Well, Your Honor, I'm not trying to like beat around the bush. She was showing me her her crotch, and that's. And you got turned on. No, I didn't. I'm telling you, I'm I'm not like physically like. Well, I did get turned on, but not. Well, after a while, she just kept doing that. Tell her not. You know what I mean? Like, I'm so not, you blaming a six-year-old? I'm not blaming right. my six-year-old. I mean, my client was sexually abused when he was a child. Um, I, How old is he now? He's 35 years old now. It, but there, it, it, the trauma that he suffered as a child has it has definitely um, surfaced in a way that is abhorrent. It's in a way that um, is obviously is not good. And that's why we are here. And he is willing to go to prison, be a lifetime registered sex offender, almost certainly be deported. He'll never live. He's been in this country since he was two years old. He will never live in this country again um, legally. And he will so he's being there. released to, after he does his time, released to go somewhere else and deal with his trauma that may result in him molesting some other child. Well, he has uh, what what he is hoping to do is, as you know, the TDCJ system offers a pretty comprehensive sex offender uh, counseling and treatment and of course you know he will at some point be wanting to to go on parole he knows that he's going to have to complete that to do that we have talked about it explained it he's going to take the opportunity to do that as well as other programs that are offered in tdcj he is motivated to do that and and you know at some point at some point when he is released as i said he, he's going to go to a country that he's never that he has basically never lived in his entire life, um, which- And I, what country would that be? Mexico. They have nice beaches there. So again, we go back to the point, what were you thinking? Yeah, I, I, I can just say sorry, but like the only thing I can tell you is that I didn't do it, didn't like, I try not to hurt her. You know what I mean? Like, Wait, are you saying that you were molesting her and as you were molesting her, you were molesting her in such a way because you didn't want her to, to hurt her? No, I asked her, you, you can put this in your mouth. That's it. And she said, no. I said, that's fine. Okay, that's it. No, this is not, this is a penetration. Your Honor, if it, it, what he has pled to is, and what he confessed to is, is by penetrating the anus with his finger. Mm -hmm. um, and he had told the police when they asked him that he told the police that he did that. Um, at the time, which is another thing, he he was he was honest with the police. He told them what he did, um, he, you know. And, and at this point, he we're we're asking for we're asking for this because we we have agreed early on not to leave this on a docket, not to go through the process, not to have his daughter have to come in and, as the prosecutor said, be traumatized by this by this. Have to come in and talk to prosecutors. Have to get the phone call from the DA's office. They want it done. He's they're they're going through a divorce. He's never going to have custody of these children. He's he's lost basically everything, including the country where he grew up, and and he's going to lose his freedom for up to fifteen years, and for a minimum of seven and a half. But as the court knows, 
parole doesn't happen like that for these cases. They're doing 75, 85% of their time. And so he's, he's lost his freedom for more than a decade. He has done a, a horrible thing. And there's nothing that he can say right now that can explain that. I, I think the court's questions of him, um, how he has, he has confessed to you now that he has done it. And what no, he, he pled no contest. He pled no contest because I advised it because there's a civil case going on, but that's a legal ad ad advice that he was getting from his lawyer. Yeah, so I mean, I understand, but he pled no contest. So again, we're back to what were you thinking? Because I'm trying to I'm figure out where you're coming from to figure out whether I should follow this plea or not. Sorry, Yana, I didn't do it. I, I didn't do it to like hurt my daughter. I tried, I'm begging and telling you, please, I'm telling you, please. I'm not, I'm not trying to force my hand in her vagina or in her ass. I basically grabbed her and I put my finger where it shouldn't be. That's it. Like, I, I can't, I don't know how to explain No, so the way, the way you're explaining it to me, you're making it seem like it was an accident. No, it wasn't. An, <laughs> so was it an accident or not? Because you're telling me you just grabbed her and you're making it seem like your finger just accidentally penetrated the anus. The thing is, she, she, I just don't know what she wants. Like, she's spreading her legs at me. Like, what do you want me to do? And like, she's spreading her whole vagina at me, like, at least four or five times, dropping her pants. To, like, literally, like, it's not like I'm telling you, like, my actions were right. I know. I'm just trying to figure out where you, you are mentally. And yes. So if I grab my daughter's butt and I throw her on the bed and I didn't like or force me to sleep. Your Honor, at the time he told police officers that he had put his finger inside of her anus. Um, so it wasn't accidental. Am I right in assuming that? He, he did not tell the police officers it was accidental. I don't think that he's trying to communicate that to the court. Um, I we want that we would we are asking the court to follow this plea bargain um it is obvious that the man it is obvious that the man has sexual deviancy and it's obvious all of those things that we have for people who are charged and who people who are convicted of this all of those things are we're doing here he's going to the penitentiary he's going to be a registered sex offender for the rest of his life all of those things are are, are what's happening in this situation for people who have this apparent or this abhorrent behavior He's he's obviously injured this child, and he he understands that he's signing for fifteen years to go to prison because of what he's done. All right, so this is a life case, honestly. So, state, you want to explain to me why the court should follow this fifteen years? Your Honor, this was done. Um, you know, having been in this position, I have seen these cases that languished for four or five, six years. And we had, I had had a discussion with the mother and the benefit of the child was to get this done, have no right to appeal to the child to move on. Um, it's it's up to the court's discretion. I'm happy to, to reconfer with defense counsel as well on this. All right, if you all wanna reconfer, the court would be willing to accept a plea of 20 years, not 15. If y'all want to reconfer on that, you can. Okay. Or, all right. Your Honor, two things. Yes. I, I, I'm set in jury trial in County Court 13. They're starting to pick a jury now. Oh, tell them you're in felony, felony court. I'll call County Court 13. It, well, it's just Skinner. It's County Court 13 impact. I'll call them. So if y'all want to confer and see if he's willing to accept 20 years. Honor, I can't talk to my client about something like this in the matter of, of, of a few minutes. I mean, this is something that we just asked for a reset if that's what the court is is, at, is, is asking us to do. It's, it's, it, it, it puts too much pressure on the attorney-client relationship for me to talk to him in the box about a, a, a complete reworking of this, of this plea bargain. Um, I, I spent hours with him in the jail going over discovery, doing all this stuff, and this is... A, I, I'm just I'm asking for a new a, a new setting. All right, Ms. Ferguson, recall this for tomorrow. And if I'm in jury trial. Oh, it tell 13, you need to be here tomorrow. And and have her there her jury wait. Yes. <laughs> this is district court. So I'll see you all tomorrow. Uh ideas are now. Well, there you have it. Uh, if you were able to make it through that. I appreciate it and you know I know it was rough these types of cases are uh, 
I'm very sensitive to you. So, um, I appreciate it if you made it through and, and if you didn't and you just came to the end for the rest of my commentary, I appreciate that too. Now, I'd like to say that Judge Boyd is a fair judge. Um, she does have a little thing for uh, crimes against children and the elderly. Um, I, it's just something that I've noticed in my opinion, allegedly, I guess. So, um, you know, I, I just think that I, I chose to do this because I just feel, I, I felt like I don't think that these type of predators are exposed enough. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, you know, they should be turned into eunuchs. But um, that's just my opinion. However, <laughs> you know, my opinion and, and what I want or what I think should happen doesn't count. So anyway, I would like to thank you if, once again, you made it through. And... Um, Please excuse my sound today. The allergies are really kicking up. And uh, don't forget to come back and visit me. And subscribe. <laughs>